I'm Donna Gates. I'm the author of The Body Ecology Diet. We have a program for children with autism called Bedrock, Body Ecology Diet Recovering Our Kids. And our real focus is on uh, fermented foods, teaching parents how to introduce foods that are fermented into the intestines uh, because we know that this brings magnificent bacteria into the, into the intestines. Uh, to be healthy, you need several pounds of this good bacteria in the gut and the children don't have that. We feel this is a leading cause of autism and one of the most important steps a parent can take in helping their child become well. Okay, and I'm Natasha Campbell McBride. I'm a medical doctor, a neurologist, and a nutritionist. I live in Cambridge in England. Uh, I'm from Russian origin, so I've got a funny accent. <laughs> and I hope everybody understands me. Um, I work with autistic children in the UK in my clinic for quite a few years now. I had hundreds of children in my clinic. My own son has been diagnosed at the age of three as severely severe autistic. Now, by the age of 12, he's fully recovered. He's in the mainstream school, he's doing very well, and he's playing sports, he's got friends, and everything else. I believe that autism begins in the digestive tract, and it begins with the damage to the gut flora in these children, to the muscle bacteria which live in our digestive tract. An adult on average carries two kilograms of bacteria in the digestive tract. It's a highly organized microbial world. In our modern world, we've got an epidemic of abnormalities in the gut flora in generations. Before I talk about the health of the child, I'll talk about the health of the parents first in my clinic. And what I find that every mother of an autistic child has got deeply abnormal gut flora due to the fact that the generation of these moms haven't been breastfed because breastfeeding went out of fashion in the 60s and 70s because they were exposed to numerous antibiotics which wipe out beneficial bacteria in the digestive tract. They were exposed to contraceptive pill from the age of 16, 17. Contraceptive pill has got a devastating effect on beneficial bacteria in the digestive tract. And they were exposed to the modern foods, to the new processed modern foods. So as a result, by the time young moms nowadays are ready to start a family, young ladies, they have got deeply abnormal gut flora. Babies are born with a sterile digestive tract. In the first 20 or so days of life, their virgin sterile gut gets populated by a mixture of bacteria, which becomes that person's gut flora, which will carry their health for the rest of their lives. And this mixture of bacteria comes from the mum. So whatever flora lives in the mum, that's what will populate the child's digestive tract. So if mom has got abnormal gut flora, and that's what I see in the mothers of autistic children, they all have got conditions related to abnormalities in the gut flora, then that's what the baby gets. The baby is also born with an immature immune system. This establishment of normal gut flora in the first 20 or so days of life plays a crucial role in appropriate maturation of the immune system. So because these babies don't get the normal gut flora, they are left immune compromised right from the start of their lives. Then, of course, vaccinations join the, 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 the bandwagon, and vaccination is a huge attack on the immune system. And if the child's immune system is already compromised, it does not take the vaccination in a predictable way. It deepens the damage to the children's immune system. As a result, the children fall prey to any infection, any bug that goes around. So they develop ear infections, they develop chest infections, they develop impetigo and other infections. Antibiotics are prescribed to these babies. All autistic children are exposed to numerous courses of antibiotics in the first couple of years of their lives. And antibiotic courses wipe out the beneficial bacteria in the gut, leaving all the pathogenic bacteria out of control because it is the beneficial bacteria in the gut that control about 500 different known species of pathogens that live in the digestive tract. So as a result, the child finishes up with deeply abnormal gut flora. All these pathogens damage the gut lining, making it leaky. They ensure that the food doesn't get digested properly and absorbed properly. So the child develops multiple nutritional deficiencies. And at the same time, the food that comes along gets digested by pathogens, converted into a whole host of toxic substances, which then absorb into the bloodstream of the child through the damaged gut lining, gets into the brain and clogs it with toxicity. And this is the toxicity which makes the child autistic, interferes with its development. 